Mark, a uh, fantastic win here against Bromley. It finished full time uh, 3 0 to Dorking Wanderers. What did you make of it? Um, over the moon, mate. Um, delighted. Um, delighted for the fans. Um, so many coming out today. Um, I thought there's um, four figures in here, which is brilliant. Um, and um, yeah, with good value for it across the 90. We started a bit stiff. Um, you know, it's difficult in these games to work out whether you want to talk about the opposition too much, but uh, Bromley are a National League side with 44 points in the top three, and they're an established side, and, um, you know, they were going to be a, a tough opponent, but we worked really hard all week, um, right from the Sunday when we got the centre scouting report, and um, with how we set the sessions up, the training sessions, it's a real team effort off the field to prepare for today. Um, certain players came in, came in today, came back in as a result of being considerate to the opposition and, and the way they may play. Um, and, um, you know, we've just got a lot of things right. The half-time change with the right uh, change, <laughs> obviously. I mean, not only did it shore the game up a bit, um, but also Tommy went and got a goal in the first five minutes of being on, which is great. Uh, Maka came on, done brilliantly. Um, he's done a couple of benches now. I'd imagine he'd be uh, coming back in for next week. Um, so, no, it's just a whole lot of good things come together. And uh, to do it in front of our home fans is phenomenal. Um, over the moon. Definitely. With the previous few results against Welling, Leatherhead and uh, Weymouth, do you think that um, has such a big momentum going into this game that really benefited the team? Yeah, I think we're, we're hitting a good run of form. I mean, let's be really clear as well, we're doing it whilst um, whilst managing you know, multiple injuries and, and Jason's been in and out of the team and rested and we've been playing players out of position and you know, we've still got our arguably our two of our you know, best back three long-term injured um, and I'm sure the supporters appreciate that, um, you know, th th there's a few 12 men at this club, the supporters are one and the ma management team is the other because there's a, there's, a, there's a good seven or eight of us that, that work really hard to produce, ma make, make decisions and produce results like today and, and that's for all of them. Um, and, and, I mean, I can't wait to, you know, for the next round. I'm not even sure if it's national, regional. Um, big club down here um, would be amazing. An ex-league club down here would be fantastic. Um, that would be great to see. And, um, you know, we wouldn't really fear anybody. Um, so what a, what a good thing to look forward to for Monday, for, for the supporters and for the players and the management team. And now what we need to do is really focus on our, um, our league campaign massively. Um, we've, got, um, we've had a good run in the league. Uh, we've pulled ourselves up into that playoff situation and we want to we wanna stay there. And um, we think we're good enough to. But it's a tough old league, so we don't want to start thinking we're too good and stuff like that. We're just having a good spell. Yeah, definitely. You mentioned, obviously, uh, Dream Tarvey and the ex-league club, but uh, in terms of the league, we've actually got um, an ex-league club in Maidstone um, next Saturday, and obviously, with, with the uh, great run of results, how are you going to go into that uh, game? Well, I mean, just again, it's if you're planning specific to, to Maidstone, and we had a good result against them down here, so um, they'll be, Hakan and um, uh, John will be, you know, really, really trying to uh, nullify our strengths. Uh, we were very dynamic that day. Um, and uh, so we're just planning for that game. Uh, look forward to uh, playing at um, a proper club and a proper stadium and proper fans. And let's face it, that's why we do it. And that's why the supporters are involved as well. And uh, Maidstown give you all of those three things. So uh, we'll be ready as always. And it's just important, just don't lose focus. You know, we've, it's an unbelievable position to be in uh, where we are now. Um, but um, we can't afford to take our eye off of the you know, week in, week out activity. Yeah, and last question. The second half, they unleashed the, uh, the, the, the sound, didn't they, the fans? It was an absolute incredible app for them. Definitely Brilliant, one yeah. of the best we've had. had yeah, done. they love it. They love it. I've worked out. They love it when we kick down the end I'm stood at now towards the park end. Yeah. All getting the shelter, make some noise. And, um, you know, when we've got the new stand behind the goal, um, you know, which obviously um, it's all happening, that would be uh, an awesome sight to see it packed out. And it just gets better and better. I think the, the build-up to it even, seeing them all on, online and stuff, and they, they're waking up, they can't wait for the game. Spurs everybody on, me included. And, uh, no, that second half, how many times have we seen that now down here? Second half, the floodlights come on, the boys turn up the heat, score goals, jump in the crowd, you know, it's just, just unbelievable, it's just fantastic. You know, we've got a winning culture down here, and, uh, no, you know, long may it continue. Yeah, well, congratulations and Cheers, thanks mate. for your time, Mark. Cheers,